The last thing we have to do is to estimate the amount of friction in the bicycle wheel. And this could be done using essentially the technique of the energy method, but then having the photogate reset not to measure the time for one rotation, but the number of turns before it stops. There are wheels here that will only go about 27 times. There are wheels here that will go over 350. This wheel did 150. So that means that every time it turned, it lost slightly less than 1% of its energy. What you guys need to do is to take the data I provide and to uh, analyze the wheel data I've given you and come to some conclusions. You might also give me a great website for people that do this exact experiment and their results. You might also try it with something you have at home using one of these three techniques. Thank you.